Hello friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 16 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about few functions which are useful when you work with map type columns. In my previous video, I explained about map type columns. This is like a continuation to that video. So I would strongly encourage you to watch my previous video. Not only that, all the videos in my playlist are in sequence order. So please try to watch them in the same sequence order to get most out of it. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about explode function, map keys function, and map values functions, how they behave when you work with map type columns. Okay. So let's jump into the demo. So firstly, let's understand about explode function. So in our previous video, we created data frame like this in which name is one column properties is another column and here if you see properties column type is map you can see the same thing here as well right and uh, map is nothing but like a dictionary it's like a json right it's like key and value pairs you know that from my previous video so now that key value pairs will be defined like this or shown like this when you try to display the data okay so now if i use explode function on top of this func column then this is a you will get output you will get keys separately and values separately for example here i is key and here is key this side are values it's like a json only right the keys will be created as a separate column and values will be created as a separate column let me practically show you that let's go to browser here i opened databricks workspace already let me go to workspace user my account and here we have already created one uh, map type notebook in our last video so let me open map type notebook here let me close this here and here if you see this map type notebook actually creates a data frame like this so let me do one thing here let me use df dot show and let's try to use truncate equals to false here okay and let me hit shift enter to execute this cell let me attach this with cluster and run it so now once the code executes we can see our data frame here along with the data you can clearly see here we have some json data right which is like a dictionary data in python terminology on top of that only map type columns will be created see we got our data and everything is good now let's try to understand how to use this uh, explode function on top of this map type column and that will help you to get uh, rows I mean to get two different columns one is for keys one is for values let me practically show you that so before using that function first you need to import that so pyspark dot sql dot there is something called functions from there import explode function okay and then our data frame has name column and properties column right so now on top of data frame let's try to use a select transformation that gives columns what you want so let's try to select name column and then also let's try to select properties column okay so we got name column and properties column now uh, another column uh, here what i will be doing after those after these two columns i will be using explode function and in the explode function in my data frame i have this properties column right so that column i am passing it so now what will happen name column will come properties column will come also this explode function will give two more columns keys and values even they with that will come so all this result will create one new data frame so let's try to use it like a df1 there to store the data frame and then let's try to do df1 dot show truncate equals to false now let me hit shift enter and see the results here so if you closely observe now now we got this key column and value column key column holds all the keys value column holds all the values so this is how you can use this explode function not only that let's try to understand about map keys function now so map keys function what it will do it will give you all the keys for example in this row i is key here is key and again same for wafa row i is key here is key right if you see the main data frame here here keys are i and here and here also keys are i and here and here values are brown and black and here values are blue and black so those values you can separately get it using map keys and map values functions let me practically show you that here so let's try to 
from same thing from PySpark dot sql dot functions let's try to import map keys okay map underscore keys and on top of data frame let's try to use with column function and to the with column function let's try to uh, create maybe like a keys keys column okay and then here let's try to use map keys to the map keys we have to supply our uh, properties column name if you see here map keys then we are supplying our properties column which holds our map type data so let me do that here so map keys data frame dot properties column so this entire thing will create a new data frame so let me save it as a data frame one here and then data frame one dot show truncate equals to false now let me hit shift enter to execute the cell and observe the output here see we got keys column in which we got a list with keys only see i is one key here is one key something like that okay so similarly there is something called map values as well so let me try to show you that also that will get the values like brown black blue and black so from price park dot sql dot functions let me import map values function and then on top of main data frame use with column with column function and then let's try to create a new column called maybe values and then here let's try to use map values function to the map values function let's try to pass our properties column this entire thing will create a new data frame so let's try to store it in df1 and then let me try to do df1 dot show and then let's try to use truncate equals to false here and now if i hit shift enter you can clearly see there is a new column created called values which holds the values so this map values function map keys function and explore functions will be most commonly used functions when you work in real time with map type columns hence i thought of covering these functions in this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.